Hello everyone, this is our water. Welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. In the last episode, we herded some goats, started off the game, <laughs> did not necessarily go through the tutorial, because that's what we're technically doing right now. Um, in this episode, we have a day off from herding goats, so I'm gonna talk with all these villagers and see what we can do here. Well, hey, morning, Link. Got a day off from work today, my boy. Not me. The wife's been hassling me. Today's the day to restock our store. Look, see that? Up in that tree. You can get a better view by pressing down the R stick and then using R or the gamepad to look around, just by the way. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about, but you know what, since when do I ever? Yeah, some Ordon bees built themselves a fine nest up there, and I was thinking about knocking it down. Our cat hasn't come home since yesterday, so the wife's in a bad mood. At the very least, I need to bring something home to her. So, um, actually, I don't know how to trigger this. I, I admittedly had been re-recording re this episode plenty of times. And he does a little scene. He does a little scene, um, that I'm really unsure about and I don't remember how to trigger it. Whatever. Anyways, looks like the what um... Looks like his wife's in a bad mood, but I want to go take a look at that slingshot that the kids were talking about last episode. And indeed, she's the one that actually owns the store, crud. Oh. Aww. Oh my. It's young Link. Welcome, my dear. You... You didn't happen to see my little cat out there, did you? He ate the fish we were going to have for supper last night, and I gave him a good scolding. But then he went out and hasn't returned. I'm so fraught with worry for him. I've exhausted myself. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, but my mind is so filled with thoughts of my little cat that I simply can't deal with customers right now. Oh, if I had known this was going to happen, I would have let my little kitty eat the fish to his heart's content. Link, my dear, I'm sorry, but would you leave me be? I'll serve you milk later. But I, I wanted, I wanted to see the slingshot, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, it's 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 right over the table. No. Okay. So unfortunately, the slingshot is out of the question. Uh, just letting you, just letting you know up ahead. I think we need about thirty rupees for the slingshot. Anyways, what do you say? Huh? Oh, sorry, sorry. Didn't realize it was you, Link. I was thinking maybe I could knock it down by throwing rocks at it. But of course, it's so high up. It makes that pretty hard to do. Okay then, do what- oh, there we go! Okay, so I guess he had to go talk to his wife first and then he'll do the scene. I'm actually pretty mean because I'm pretty sure I've done this about a good five times with this man. Oh, Right in the eye! <laughs> Ouch, they don't hold back with their stinging, do they? I guess rocks won't work. <laughs> you know, I could pull him up, but I can't because there's no... Link doesn't have the ability to pull up a person. I don't think he can push him in the water either. It's actually quite sad. Um, since I can't get the slingshot, maybe I can get the fishing rod? Oh, um, good morning to you. Did you come here to get the fishing rod that Colin made? I'm really sorry, but would you hear me out first? You have not seen a cradle come floating by here, have you? It is a baby's cradle made of finely woven tree bark. Oh, such a misfortune. How far could it have drifted, I wondered. I added an ED at the end of that wondered, what the heck. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I guess we're not getting the fishing rod either, um... Where are there any rupees? Oh, there are rupees in the river. I am remembering things. Okay. And that that was not necessary, Link. It. Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a frog. 
I didn't know we had frogs. No, come back, froggies. Froggies. Okay. My god, they are tiny. Wow. They are like a little bit bigger than my freaking pink pinky finger. You, Goo -goo, come here. Take you, throw you in the freaking water. Right. Because I restarted the save. He doesn't remember that he tried to talk to me last episode. Whoa, hey, you climbed up here without even yelling up at me first. You're a spry one, huh? Well, whatever. Check this out over there. You know Sarah at the general store? Well, isn't that her cat over there? He's just been sitting there next to my house having a staring contest with the creek. You don't suppose you think he's gonna catch a fish, do you? <laughs> I can't ca catch no fish. I feel like I missed the letter there. Anyways, that's not what I was meaning to tell you about. I wanted you to take a look at something. See that grass growing over there on the edge of that rock? Haven't I seen you whistling with that stuff? I figured it was pretty rare to see it growing in a place like that. So I thought I'd let you know. I bet you could just hop across these rocks with just a quick little... Up L stick jiggle thing? I don't know what, what he would say it as. Anyways, yeah, we can auto jump over rocks. Just make sure you don't do it. Just make sure you have somewhere to jump back to. Um, and this grass over here. I'm, I'm actually really mad about this grass. Because in the GameCube version, it was a little bit muddled. I never realized this grass looked like a bird. It just looked like a piece of grass with two wings. In any rate, um, whatever. Anyways, when you whistle this grass, lo and behold, you have Mr. Hawk. You have a bird, and you can aim with the bird with the left stick, or the right stick. Yeah, you can do both, okay. So what you want to do with this one specifically, you want to aim it at that bee's larva nest. Because otherwise, if you're trying to climb up that vine, you're going to have a bad time. Righto, um, do you say anything after I do this? I, I saw it all. Using a hawk. It's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I said, isn't it the cuckoo with some over here? Hi, hi, sir. How you doing? You you having you having a glorious swim after I threw you in the water like that? I'm actually I'm sorry. He he looks kind of cute swimming like that. And anyways, disregarding the drowning man back there, I kind of feel bad that I put him in that situation. I think if I go back into the house and come back out, uh, he'll stop drowning. Oh, so another thing, I don't, I think this was shared by both the GameCube and the Wii version, Link climbs really slow in the original version. Oh man, he climbed pretty freaking slow. I was not bothered by it. I was more bothered by like why he had to move his arms and legs like that because that was a little bit strange. So at the very top of this tree, you have a blue rupee, which is worth five green rupees. And <laughs> we have a yellow rupee, but that's worth ten. So every time you load up a save, um, every time you load up a save in the old game, it does not matter if you've already seen these rupees or not. They will always, always give you that text box saying you found the blue rupee you found the red rupee you found the yellow rupee blah 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 i don't remember if they did that for green <laughs> but um i think they might change in this one and i think you can skip getting this text box by rolling off oh, or jumping off that works too unfortunately the next time i see a yellow rupee i'm probably gonna get that text box um Oh, shoot. Uh, I, I, done, I done screw up. <laughs> uh, you wanna get back over here, and instead of jumping off, um, you can jump on top of the roof, and there are these more rocks over here, and a blue roof. B. Okay, that, that scared the crap out of me. Um, there's also more of this bird grass over here. Um, also, you have the option to skip cutscenes if you just press the plus symbol twice. Hmm. And if you hear that adorable squeaking over there, you see something off in the distance. I don't know what it is, but I'm a sick Mr. Hawk at it. And look at that, we have basket, a cradle, actually. The same cradle that uh, Colin's mother was looking for. Um, whatever you do, don't jump in the water. I think I did that once or twice. 
It was a pain in the butt to get this cradle back. Oh man, because Link can't grab things out of the water because he's too busy swimming. Oh, Link! That cradle! Did you go to the trouble of finding it for me? My thanks to you. Oh, that reminds me. There's something I'm supposed to give to you. Do you think you can carry that cradle and come, come with me back to my house? Okay, so another thing I noticed about the HD remake, especially in this scene, um, because they put better textures on everything, I'm actually able to see all the details in all of their clothes, and oh my gosh, it is glorious. I, I, I'm, I'm freaking out about this way too much. Also, I feel bad for running in front of a, a pregnant woman like that, but I just want to get on with the game. My thanks to you, Link. Yes, yes, I've nearly forgotten. I'm supposed to give this to you. <laughs> All right, here you go. You got a fishing rod. A simple fishing rod with a bobber. Set the Y, X, or R on the item screen to use it. Face the water, water and use it to cast. Press and hold the assigned button to pull the line in when you get a bite. You can catch fish without bait, but you'll catch a larger variety of fish with bait. And Link's mouth will forever be... <laughs> his mouth will forever be open like that. It is a little... unpolished. My son Colin made this under the instruction of his father. You can use it if you like. I mean, it is a gift, so why wouldn't I use it? Okay, um... <laughs> so this is our very first item in the game. I'm gonna go ahead and set it to X. And I'm gonna pull this out. This... I don't understand. One, I don't really understand why they made me a fishing rod. Two, this thing is ginormous. This thing is at least easily twice as big as Link, but I'm pretty sure this thing is three times as big as Link. Like, holy crap. I don't know much about fishing, but I don't think you need a fishing rod this long. Like, holy crap. My gosh. And it is, it's still impressive. No, no, I want to put it away. It's impressive that they made one that really long. I just hope it doesn't break. Kitty! Kitty kitty meow meow! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here, kitty! Come! Get over here! Get over here! Get, get over here! Okay. Um... <laughs> by the way, you actually don't want to do what I did. Um... S oh, crap. So, what I learned... Is that if the cat... Doesn't appear behind you... Like this, because he runs over to you when you pull out your fishing rod. If he is nowhere around you, um, whatever happens next will not happen, and you would have to do it again. It's stupid and annoying, and I figured out that figured that out the hard way after I caught like what three or four of these fishes. Anyways, um, if you hold down the button, you can raise up your fishing rod, let it go, and you cast out the line. I believe, um. You have to wait until the second red line goes down to the surface like freaking that or not. You have to wait until it tries to go all the way down and um, hold down the button that you assign the the uh, fishing rod to. I think in the GameCube version, don't don't quote me on this. I think frick, in the GameCube version instead of clicking on the button you assigned it to, you had to Hit the control stick down. Maybe. I don't remember. You got a green gill. These small fry are everywhere. Press down to check it. Uh. Blah, blah. Press down the D-pad to check the fish you caught in the collection screen. And so this cutscene. This. <laughs> Sorry, Link's face always gets me. Um. This and and back in the GameCube and the Wii version. Um. This cutscene would not happen until you caught the second fish, because the first fish is the tutorial slash it's going to be added into your fish compendium or whatever the crap it's called. Um, the second one is the one that triggers the cutscene. If the cat is not directly behind you when this happens, the cutscene will not happen. It is stupid. It is annoying. I found that out the hard way, and I hope it doesn't happen to any, any one of you guys. Um, oh. When did I already get 30 rupees? Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna complain. Alright, so let's... So now that the cat ran back over to the general store, let's go check up on Sarah. Oh my, Link! You simply must hear this! 
just take a look. My little kitty Link came back. <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. My little kitty Link came Did you name the cat after me? Oh, jeez. And he brought back a fish with him. He was worried about me being angry. Oh, just look. Isn't he so cute the way he laps up that milk? Say, my dear, why don't you have some too? I'm in a good mood, so it's on the house today. You got milk in a bottle. But the bottle's half empty. Set it and use it with YXOR to replenish three hearts. Store things in an empty bottle by pressing YXOR to swing it. Oh, don't worry. You don't have to return the empty bottle, my dear. You can reuse it. You know, put something else in it. Recycling is a very important thing, my dear. I'm sure you'd never do anything of the sort, but kids these days toss things out like the whole world was disposable. It's criminal. So, what do you say, my dear? Is there anything you want today? Feel free to look around using the love stick. Alright, so, now we finally get the option to buy things from her. Um, if the bottle was empty, or I think it doesn't really matter because you could just refill it. You can buy uh, two servings of milk. Um, this is your only way. Oh, right. Uh, another thing about Master Mode, or Heroes Mode, excuse me. You don't get hearts. You don't get hearts by the normal means. The only way to recover hearts is with healing items like this. So have fun with that. Um, Beast Larva is used for great bait. You can also eat it, which I don't suggest. I think it only recovers a quarter of a heart and Link. Link just gives this really disgusted face. And what we want is this slingshot. I got this for the kids, but it's just a toy, but it stings something awful when you get hit by it. Well, I'ma buy it. This little twig with some leather, rawhide. I don't know what kind of thread it's made with. What are you doing buying a slingshot, you naughty thing? You're too old for toys. Will you at least let the kids play with it? Oh, I should tell you, if you happen to run out of pellets, you can also use pumpkin seeds. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, I don't think you understand the dangers of a slingshot. I have never used one myself. I have only seen one of my, friend, my neighborhood friends use it. He tried to use the slingshot to sling a rock at a squirrel in the tree. He sling it straight up. And then the rock came straight back down about a foot away from his head. It was dumb. It was stupid. Scared the crap out of us. It would also probably hurt really bad. Don't try it. Don't, don't do that at home. Please, kids. Please don't. Anyways, we got our fishing rod. Um, we got a slingshot. Might as well go show off to the kids. Or get interrupted like I always do. Ah, just in time, Link. I just delivered something to your room. Oh, I see you got the fishing rod. Colin will be pleased. And it works better than you would think, right? Well, have a good one. So, so wait, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. Aside the fact that there is a freaking spider on my ladder. Get out. You, 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 ha you had something to give to me. And instead of trying to hunt me down, which honestly, it does make a lot of sense why you would just go over here. But you thought it was a good thing to break into my house, dragging this wooden chest into the house, up the ladder somehow. And put whatever is inside of here to return to me instead of saying, Hey, have any of you guys seen Link? I have something to give to him. No, no, apparently not. That's not smart at all. The one thing I don't understand is how the frick did you put this in the chest? You got a wind sword, Russell. We returned it after honing it for you. It's easy to use, just press B. No, like no joke. This thing is tiny. How the frick did you put it in this wooden chest? I'm pretty sure it would have snapped in half for God's sakes. Gosh. Anyways, before we end the episode, I want to rub this slingshot into these kids' faces. Well, you had enough money to buy it, Link?
Preparations complete. Okay, wow, this is great. Let's see how powerful that slingshot is. Hit the targets and those scarecrows. I can't believe you two brats are so obsessed about this. It just shows what little boys you both still are. These two idiots will never shut up about it, so I guess you'll just have to show them, Link. So yeah, if you were playing the gamepad, this is where you would do the motion controls. Um, oh my gosh, it does not feel clunky. Oh, I'm so happy. It, it felt pretty clunky in the GameCube version. Um, How you want to aim it is the diagonal, like in the middle of that diagonal, like right here. That's what you're going to hit. Whoa, you hit it, you hit it. I looked at the manual in the store and it said that it's easier to hit nearby targets if you press ZL when you're aiming. I thought you weren't interested, Beth. And indeed, she's right. ZL, we can attack nearby targets, just like these scarecrows. Um, unfortunately, targets like these that are pretty inanimate and not close and don't really do anything, you'll have to actually aim, so hopefully you're not a crap shot. Whoa! Amazing, Link! Thanks, Link! I'm not gonna make that noise, are you kidding me? Gee, you really are amazing, Link. Yeah, you are. You can use swords and slingshots and everything. Hey, yeah, that reminds me. You gotta teach us how to use a sword, too. Seriously, lately those monkeys have been coming out of the woods and playing tricks on us. We want to get them good. Come on, teach us how to use a sword. No. What? Aw, oh, gee, why not? Get off your high horse. Just show us. Creepy baby. Okay, demonic baby. <laughs> Anyways, um, no, guys, 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 your kids, your kids. I know you're gonna do something really stupid if I teach you how to use a sword, but apparently game progression forces me to do this. I, I did not do this because I wanted to, all right? I, I know kids, you kids are, I swear to God, are gonna run off and do something or beat the crap out of each other and get yourselves hurt and cry about it. All right, first off, we want to see that move. The slice. Uh, you just swing with B, right? Indeed we do, just, just hit B. We do a horizontal slice. Wow, a horizontal slice. Was that it? Was it? I think I've seen you do a vertical slice before too. You know, by pressing B while the L targeting. All right, next. Ooh, ooh, I want to see that other move, Link. Yeah, the one where you just tilt up while ZL targeting. Press B to flex your muscles and stab. Oh, please, the stab. I'm not gonna lie. I vaguely remember this used to be called the thrust. I'm really glad that's not the case. <laughs> Since you're at it, how about you show us that other move? You know, that little twirly thing you do. I love that. What do you call it? A spin attack? Like, it's hard to briefly hold B and release it. Um, you can just hold down B. Usually in, a, in all the other games, Link will actually um, do an initial slice before before holding it down. I think if you rotate the left stick and press B, yep. You can also do a uh, spin attack like that. Granted, I don't do spin attacks very often, so you maybe you'll see me doing it. I don't know. I don't... I just beat the crap out of him. You gotta show us the jump attack before you go. You know the one where you go, yeah, and leap through the air. You mean the one where you just hold ZL and press A? Oh yeah, real tough. Well, prepare to be amazed. Ah! Thanks, Link. So, uh... I... I think I get it. Kinda. Hmm. Maybe not. So that means that anytime one of those naughty monkeys show up... Ah! Come here, you! Oh, pff. Gee, thanks a lot, Colin! Wait, your name's not Colin. What the crap is your name? <laughs> I don't think I ever got your name. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, yeah, that's the end of this episode. I just spent the last five minutes showing off to a bunch of kids. Great. Anyways, yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. In the ne next episode, I... 
What? Sorry, sorry. You do you do you guys see that shadow on the tree? Is that supposed to be a Pona shadow? Um. I mean, it's moving whenever a Pona moves. I think that's a Pona shadow clipping into the tree. No, screw it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. End of the episode. End of the episode. Next episode, I'm gonna go chase after those kids. This is horrible water. Signing out. Screw this. Screw this game. Screw this rock. Or don't screw this rock. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. I'll see you guys in the next one.